Hi, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to find the regression equation that best models the data. I already know which model is the best, but I want to show you like in case you don't know which model best, what you have to do. So the first thing that you want to do is look at the scatter plot. So you can either draw out the scatter plot by hand or you can use technology to help you. And for this video, what I'm going to use is the TI-84. So what I'm going to do is grab my calculator. And so this is my calculator. Let me just adjust it to the screen a little bit better. Um, what we are going to do is we're going to enter our data into our lists. Now remember to do that, you're going to hit stat and edit option one. So we're going to put L1 and L2. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to take um, our X coordinate and put it into L1. And we're going to take our Y coordinate and put it into L2. Okay, so if you need to pause the video here and enter the data, I'm going to go ahead and put it in to my L1 and L2. And I'm just going to do this really quickly. And then I would go to the next one. Make sure that your points do match up. Like you want to make sure that the um, 5 goes with the 18 and the 9 goes with the 7 and the zero goes with the 19 because if you don't have them matching up exactly then it will give you the wrong line so before you come up with your model and figure out what you want to do or which one would model this best what we want to do is look at the picture okay so i'm going to hit second and y equals and i'm going to go to plot one and i'm going to turn this one on and if you have any problems with this, like if it gives you an error, check your Y equals screen to make sure that there's nothing here. So if it gives you an error when we do the next step, odds are you have something in your Y1 that your calculator doesn't like. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the zoom and option nine. Zoom stat will adjust the windows to fit all of the data that you put into L1. Okay, so if you guys look at this, we can see that it shows a parabolic trajectory. So it goes up and then it comes back down. So if I see something like this, I would never want to fit a line to this um, because it obviously goes up and then it starts to go back down. So the best model for this one most likely is quadratic. So what we're gonna do is after we've looked at the picture and figured out, okay, what's going on in here? Should I use a line? Should I use a parabola, which is a quadratic equation? Does it go up, down, back up again? Because we can also do cubic. There's a lot of different options that you can do with regression. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit stat and we're gonna go over to calculate. And calculate has all of our regression. Notice that we have linear regression, quadratic regression, cubic regression, quartic regression, um, linear regression in a different form. This one's used traditionally for statistics. LN is natural logarithm regression, and it continues on beyond that. So there are more options, but I'm gonna choose option five, quadratic regression, since it went up and it came back down. So we're gonna fit a quadratic model to this. So we have L1, L2, and if this screen doesn't show up, you would just put after the quadratic regression, L1, comma, second, two gives you L2 to get L1. If you just hit second in the number one, it's above here. Um, and then we're gonna store the regression equation. So I will show you what this should look like if you have an older calculator. Um, so you can see at least what the commands look like. So I'm gonna hit VARS and I'm gonna go over to Y VARS. So this is the Y variables and I'm gonna choose option one function. And what this does is it stores your regression equation into Y equals so you can actually see the model um, graphed with the scatter plots when we hit graph. Okay, so I'm gonna hit calculate. And some of you may not have this R squared that comes at the bottom. This right here gives us our variability or a variance. And so what it's telling us is that 99.65% of the data is explained by this model, which means it's a very, very strong model. Okay, the closer this is to one, the stronger your model is. Basically, it's just telling you the percentage that, of the points that are explained by this model. So this is almost 100%. If it was exactly quadratic, then this number would be one. Okay, so what we're going to do to write our model down is we're just gonna write the equation and then I'll show you what it looks like in just a second. So you always wanna come up with your model. So you would say that Y is approximately negative, and I'm going to round to um, four places, and you could put 0 0.3047, I'm just going to put 0.3047x squared, plus to four places on the next one, 1 1.3966x, plus 19.0415. 
Okay, and then our R squared was 0.9965. So that just tells you how much, again, of your data is explained by this model. Okay, for some of you, just like I said, that this may not have shown up. The reason mine showed up is because under mode, I have my stats diagnostics turned on. If this does not come up under your mode, because I know some of the older like TI-83 graphing calculators and the older TI-84s don't have this option. So what you would have to do to turn those on so that you can see your R squared is you would actually have to go to second and catalog. And then you would have to scroll down until you got to the letter Ds. I just hit the green D up here just to make it a little bit faster. And then we're gonna go down to diagnostics on and then hit this twice. Now you don't have to do this if you can turn it on in your mode, that's the easier way, but I know that some of the graphing calculators don't allow you to do that. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hit second and enter and second and enter again. Um, I wanted to show those of you that didn't get that menu that came up for quadratic regression, this is how you would enter it into your calculator, quadratic regression, L1 comma L2 comma Y1, and remember the comma is right here above the seven. And then your R squared should now show up if you turned it on. So for those of you who didn't have the R squared, that's how you get it. And if you look at our graph, we can see that our model goes through these points very well. There's a little bit of variability with this point right here. It's the only one that kind of really is off the line. The rest kind of are off the curve, um, but it's very, very close. So we can see that this is a good model for this data set. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know. Um, if there are any questions, please let me know. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.